Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenhoff here. Right now I'm at the tail end of the historic Popper FNM at Home event. That means that I can use any card across the game as long as it's a common. Well, I brewed up. <laughs> that's not <laughs> that's not it, that's what I ran last time. Um, I brewed up Mono Red Kiln Fiend. So here's the, here's the deck real quick, we'll do a, a deck tag. Now this isn't ideal, this is missing some cards. Sorry, these are just what I happen to have, and I ran out of common wild cards trying to thread this together, so... Oops! Uh, but the idea is basically that you have a card like Kilnfane, so creatures that get bigger as you cast incense and sorceries. Uh, it gets plus three plus so until end of turn. We also have Burning Prophet doing the same thing, but smaller, and you get to scry one, and it doesn't die to shock. Uh, we have, let's see, Fire Urchin, which has Trample built in, but also gets a smaller buff. We have one Underworld Rage Hound because it can keep coming back from the yard, and if we use pump effects, then the fact that it attacks each combat of Fable isn't necessarily as big of a deal, pump or killing the opponent's creatures. And then four Spell Gorger Weird, which is the only one in the deck that gets to keep its buff. It gets plus one plus one counters, they get to stick around. Aside from that, we run Crash Through, Draw Card, Trample, Pillar of Flame for shock, but uh, sorcery speed, and it exiles them. Shock. Warlord's Fury, first strike, draw a card. So we have eight that just simply draw a card. Uh, we have Cathartic Reunion, so two mana, discard two, draw three to help us find the combo, uh, or just to keep going off in a given turn. Uh, Fire Prophecy, it's more removal, but because Lightning Strike is not, it's an uncommon, it's not a common right now. Uh, but it also lets us take a card we don't need and draw another one instead. Uh, and then we have Raking Claws for double strike and it cycles. So this is okay, only 21 lands, should be more Forgotten Caves, but I don't have more, so we have Desert of the Fervent. And I, I guess let's try it out really quickly, see if we can get a couple wins for too long. Alright, may want to actually, <laughs> I think that we turn the volume down a bit. I do that every, whenever I'm not on camera, whenever I'm not recording. Uh, I'll see if I can cut it up in just a sec. Let's see who's this going to be? Dorbic. Hi, Dorbic. Joy of events like this is I don't see the same people all the time. Oh, okay. Well, it has cathartic reunion, so we can make it work, and then pass. See what they happen to have. Elf. No. Oh, okay. Uh, hang on to it. Cathartic reunion. Discard two lands. Draw three cards. Discarding two lands because we're gonna find another land in all likelihood. Alright, and so we'll go Land Fire Urchin next. Burning Prophet. I like what they're doing. I don't think... I don't... <coughs> oh, excuse me. think we need to worry about it too, too much. <coughs> uh, sorry. <coughs> uh, yo, no. Alright, what you got? What do you have? Okay, I like that. That's something I could have added to it. Rimrock Knight. Or, what is that, Reckless Rush? Boulder Rush. Yeah, that works, that makes sense. There we go. Can't block though, so I think we're okay. Save it. Um, let's just get rid of it. Uh, we'll play it tapped, and hi y'all. So it's not as much damage as it could have been, obviously. Just a bit. I was hoping, I was hoping they might concede there <laughs> once I killed their stuff. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon, I guess. Alright, so Warlord's Fury. Sorcery. But we get to draw a card, so we might as well do it now. Ah, okay. Hmm. There's no way that they don't have shock. Alright, just two. And play it. Oh, oh yeah, uh, wait a sec, because first strike. I gave it first strike just then. 
Alright, Kiln Fiend, it dies. And... Dead, Jim. Some... Where? Okay, ow. Interesting. Admittedly, I wasn't expecting it to go towards me instead of the fiend. Alright, no blocks. Obviously. I guess they want to wait until I try to target it with something, right? Ooh, Hellhound. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's something that I have as well. I suppose I could try to use. Only 21 lands, though. I don't feel too, too terribly great about this game. Alright, so the fact that they're not going after Kiln Fiend, that's a little bit concerning. Alright, let's make them do it. Let's make them do it. Genius, doing it right there in main phase. You genius. Genius. I suspect that they were blocking that anyway, but I don't know why I did that then. It's it's not a, it feels like it could be a sorcery, but it's not. It's an instant. All right, now they have to do it. So I was wrong. They weren't going to block it anyway, apparently. Okay. So it's only 6 damage then, as it turns out. It's not it's not great. It's not looking too hot. Alright. Thankfully it has trample, so if they try to block it later on, that'll be alright. What was that? Five damage? Hmm. Ah, uh, they got me. They got me. Oops. Oops. <laughs> that happens. They drew what they needed. Let's go at it again. At least these games are pretty quick. We're only, what, seven minutes into the video? Alright. Hey, Chris. Now that name I do remember having seen. Ooh. ooh. Well, we have a Warlord's Fury. I'm gonna try it. Hello. Alright. This might be wrong, but the stakes are zero. So if I'm wrong, oh well, I suppose. It's not like this is ranked or anything. Ooh, nice. Pop. There we go. Hmm. Rather not kill it just yet. Rather get the creature out for the scry. Oh, instant regret. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I think I see where this is going. I didn't actually mean to do that. That, that was not intentional, mind you. I uh, used the touch screen and I double tapped there. Hmm. Nope. All right. Well, we could still win. It's not looking likely, especially with the lifelink, but we have a Kiln Fiend, and we can give it double strike here. Alright, yeah. Okay, we are about to get outside of uh, Fire Prophecy range. We are outside of Fire Prophecy range. We're just going to have to do damage. Just damage. Okay, uh, so what do you do then? Kiln Fiend for sure. And it does have lifelink. Um, I guess we let this come in tapped, don't we? Uh, just a little too slow there. Does that one even draw them a card? It doesn't. Okay, so it's not cartouche. It's not that good. Alternatively, we could try to use this to draw into something, but I don't think that's getting us there. You know what? Sure. Alright. 
and there we go. Here we are. All right. We would need what? Land shock, land pillar. If they don't play anything else, big if. Aha! Uh -huh. Speak of the devil. Oh no, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, what is that? You get blah blah blah. Yes. And then whenever it attacks. Okay. Hmm, alright. So we'll cycle. What do we get? Mountain. Ah, uh, okay, not mountain removal. Hmm. Oh, oh, I shouldn't have played that land that <coughs> there. Oops. Ooh, okay. Aha, uh -huh. there's a third removal spell. Right on time. Oh, there was another one. <coughs> well, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I I don't guess it matters anymore cuz no matter what we're going to have a third. Maybe I should have kept that. Maybe. Ah, uh, I don't know. Pillar of Flame at least can target a player, so that actually would have made sense. I could have gone Pillar of Flame, heal, uh, Fire Prophecy, Raking Claws, Pacifism. Ah, uh, I'll give them the good game. We're about out of time for the event anyway. Ah, uh, they got me. They got me. That's pretty good. I like what they were up to. That's another deck I could have put together. I have all the pieces. That's the joy of playing that in Standard and Historic. All right. Getting a pretty late start today, though, so let me see if I can just run through real quick. No coffee either, so I am thoroughly decaffeinated. All right, so we have a creature, we have card draw, we have interaction, let's go. Just hope that this is enough. Versus Anthrax. <laughs> no promises, but I'll try. I'll do what I can. I'm gonna try to save those Furies. Alright. Okay. Uh, sure. Play out a creature and go. Oh, here we go. No, never mind. Uh, okay then. How about we give it First Strike, First Strike Trample, then we play a land, and then we attack. That way we can hold up Shock and Fire Prophecy, and we can get out Spell Gorger Weird next turn. We're trying. What is this? Divine Arrow. Uh, sure. Sure, I'll have to keep that in mind for later. Though I have a sneaking suspicion that they're also going to run cards like Passivism. Alright, that's good. We're playing against Control as a combo deck. Let's go. Alright, just in case. And pass. Hold up that shock. That's unnecessary, but okay. Now we'll fire it off. This is why. I'm trying to get it outside of 4 damage. Alright. Crash through. Alright. Here goes. First strike. Alright. Now we should be okay, at least for that card. If nothing else, at least for that one. Um... Do it again. We have an extra land, so we'll play that, and attack, and before it dies. Alright, here goes. No, not yet. 
We're getting there, I'm sure, just not yet. All right, flash in, sure, before they can counter it. All right, a another one, right on time. That's an interesting creature to have. So I guess this is just flash till end of turn. Okay, cool. Uh, yo, yo, not cool, not cool at all, bruh. We'll hang on to the fire prophecy then. So if I draw a dead card here off the top, I'll be able to uh, cycle it. Cloudkin Seer, okay. Well, it's not ideal, but we can live with that. Hmm. Now they can, unfortunately, do it, if they have another Divine Arrow. But at least this way... okay. Huh. There it goes. Alright. Cathartic Reunion. Oof. Not ideal. Not exactly ideal. Alright, this control deck is kind of running me into the ground a little bit. If they counter this Cathartic Reunion... <sighs> now that we can cast it for a little while, Tormenting Voice we could cast next turn. Cathartic Reunion we have to wait a bit. Not, a, not an excellent top deck, unfortunately. Not exactly. Ah, the good old days of Faithless Looting, Cathartic Reunion, and Modern. Good old days. Alright, do they have it again? There's Fairy Duelist. Oh! Okay, so, nice, we'll just bounce off each other. Oh, or not. I guess we won't. Opt, oh, okay. Second, uh, no, no, this isn't the one that cares about second draw every turn. That's, uh, not legal in, in Popper. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so it's it's flyers then, not flash. Yep, it's flyers. Okay, can live with that. All right, what do you say? Let's uh, try this with one mana. Even spell pierce won't get the job done. It doesn't look like they have a whole lot going on there. Um, mm -hmm. crash through first. Ooh, better than Cathartic Reunion, just killing both of their creatures, I suppose. Senate Griffin, let's exile that. Shock that. Though it ends up being the same amount of damage regardless because of Trample. Either two straight to them and they save two from uh, blocking, or... You know, oh, here we go again. Doesn't this thing have flash? Why are they doing it now? Oh, okay, that's why. That explains it, I suppose. Alright, jump block. Bang. And pass turn. I'll cycle this desert here in just a moment. Alright, three mana winged words. They have so many cards. Jeez. Ooh, a healer's hawk. Yeah, we did concede. Okay. There's one! That's, that still only counts as one. Um, if I can get another in the next 15 minutes, then I'll have two wins by the end of the day. You have your instep blah. <coughs> okay. Let's go. Whew, sorry about that. I guess if you have a red quest for the day, that's pretty quick. That doesn't take too terribly long at all. Win or lose, and the deck doesn't seem to be winning as much as I had maybe hoped. Um, 
but it's it's fast nonetheless. Ah, okay. It's almost like it's a glass cannon. Almost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Infect player, of course, plays the glass cannon deck. Yeah, no. No, no, no. And there we go. All right. They kind of know what's going on then, I, I suspect. I'm assuming that this is a Bogles type list. Aha! Okay, so it's, it's just enchantments. And pass. Let's see if they do it again. I played this deck before. I played a deck doing this. Yep, I played this deck. Heliod's Pilgrim is awesome. I'm waiting for it. Another land, Heliod's Pilgrim, get passivism. Or trapped in the tower. Let's go. I want to see that so much. Alright. Instead we have a 1-1 flyer. As you do, I suppose. As you do. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Aha. Aha. All right then. I guess attack. Obvious trade is obvious. No. Okay. Cool. Give it double strike. Because that totally matters. I can totally remove enchantments in red. Hey, do it again. I dare you. Do that again. I I don't know if they were expecting raking claws. If they know what this deck is up to, so we have raking claws. We don't have unleash fury. It's an uncommon. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Not attacking with your vigilant one one. I I don't know about that. All right, but they are missing a land, so I do kind of feel bad for them. All right, do it again. I did just kind of give away that I have an instant though <laughs> by waiting a bit too long. Um. Ooh, okay. Uh, you first. Get that double strike. Now it's a 4-4 four, four versus your 3-3. Three, three. And we get to just eat them both. Ta-da! As the advantage would say, ta-da! Ooh, never mind. Nice. Never mind. It happens. Alright, so the token has lifelink. Uh, no. Okay, so I have to attack with this thing. That's going to be a little unfortunate. Alright. Little bit. Um. As much as I want to hang on to Fire Prophecy to see if I can find more removal, I say we attack first. See how they want to do this. Not like I have a choice, unfortunately. Must attack, or attacks each combat if able. Alright. I don't disagree with that. Alright. And I think that it needs five mana to come back, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, it's four. Enters with a plus one, plus one counter. Choose three. Uh, one, two, three. totally makes a difference. It makes absolutely no difference. Alright. So that's something to look forward to for next turn. Ow. Stop. Ah, lifelink. No. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. I'm actually going to call it here so that we have enough time to uh, keep playing. Try to get another in before the hour mark shows up. On my end, not the hour on you. For you, it's been 25 minutes. Yeah.
Try not to take too long. Right. Lock of the Veil. Cool. Uh, yep. Yeah. Cool. Let's go for it. And pass. Can we do it this time? Ooh, please be elves. Alright. Here we go. Whew. Cathartic Reunion is good, but there aren't that many actual dead cards I've found. Alright. Let's draw something first. Forgotten Cave. Okay. Now I will go for it here. One. Uh, two. Risky business. Let's do it, though. Ooh, okay. And we got Raking Claws for next turn. Can we do a turn four kill? I hope so. And he there's Heliod's Pilgrim. So the answer is maybe. We might be able to do a turn four. You know, we should. We have Pillar of Flame or Shock. Raking Claws. We got them. Boop. And then... I like what they were doing because I've done the, the, I've played their deck before, but uh, you know, then that happens. So that's the platonic ideal, right? That's how that's supposed to work. You get turn four through killing their creatures or a creature anyway. Uh, you know, kiln fade. <laughs> There's a reason that you see that card in popper combo decks. Scoot swarm again. Ah, oh, okay, okay. That's neat. Let's open a pack real quick while we're here. I only have one so far. We'll we'll fix that later on, but uh Yeah. Ooh, okay, see the truth. Uh if you happen to be casting it from your grave anywhere other than your hand, your graveyard, uh, then you get to add three cards. It's a two mana draw three at sorcery speed. Otherwise, it's a sorcery speed anticipate. So I guess it's alright. It's it's good enough for standard, I think. And then yeah, we and then other stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can make <coughs> I can make that work. All right, that's going to do it for now. Scratch that. We still have some time. We'll still play a bit more. See if we can get one more real quick. I'm regretting the lack of coffee though. Greed, pride. Okay. Shout us to two sins over here. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Let's go. Let's see if we can recreate that. Let's see if we can bring back the magic. Alright. Though we're on the draw, I would I do appreciate the extra card. But right, pass. I would like the speed as well. We'll start off with the kiln feigned. See if we can go for something quick. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. Ooh, okay, nothing. What could that mean? Nope, not yet. Alright, and then Fire Urchin. And then go. Whew. Okay, there's one. Alright. So, let's just go... Uh, Pillar of Flame to exile it. Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's be silly here. Ta-da! Give him the good game. Okay, um, <laughs> glad we stayed around for a bit. That didn't take long at all. Oh my goodness, that was... that didn't take long. <laughs> All right. Well, fun adventures in in Popper, I suppose. Uh, the the Popper, not historic Popper, but Popper Popper versions of the deck uh, don't have to be mono red, and I think often aren't. There is it, as I recall, so that you can get the card draw from blue. Um, but you know, here we are, <laughs> I suppose. There are also other cards they can have, like. I don't remember if they went run We Dragonauts or any other cards that have that ability that scales up with instants and sorceries. Uh, yeah, Fire Urchin. No Kiln Fame, but we'll try to make it work.
keeping a hand without Kiln Fiend is like... It's like playing auras in Historic and keeping a hand without Spirit Dancer. I mean, you do what you have to do, but it's not, it's not where you'd like to be. Okay. Get our Trample 1-3, except I, actually a 4 or 5-3. Alright, well, I think I see what they're up to. Oh, it's ba aha! Okay. Okay. Let's get the Kiln Fiend out first, then. I'm actually gonna wait on the Warlord's Fury. Warlord's Furry. Because we can go land, raking claws, raking claws, and that will not do it anymore, will it? Okay, wait a minute here. If they... Okay. If I go raking claws, raking claws, that's six plus four... Yeah, okay. So we have to shock... Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. They're at 21. Yeah, that's going to be one shy. That's going to be one shy. Uh, let's remove the creature, I guess. Hmm, okay. That's unfortunate. Let's just draw a card then. If they didn't gain that one life, we'd have them. Alright. Whale. Whale. Alright, do it again. Draw some more. And now we got him. Now we got him. Alright, so that'll do it. I can I didn't see that initially, so I'm doing the math where you're like, wait a minute. Yeah, no, I'm I'm galactic brain over here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's a moment where the audience knows what's supposed to happen, and uh, the character is going to figure it out. Alright, yeah, see, we were 45 seconds away from the day ending on here. So, yeah, <laughs> only getting four wins for the day. That's what I try to do all the time, but, you know. Whoa, okay. Starts in 12.34.56, and the timer's not moving. Gee, I wonder what that could mean. I wonder. It could mean anything. I might actually just chill here and play for play Popper on my own for a little bit longer, but in all likelihood, I'll start grinding ranked again. See, we're pretty... Alright, I'm in Diamond 1. I think right now I'm Diamond 1-1. One, one. Yep, Diamond Tier 1 with 1 win. So I'm pretty close. I'm going to finish this at only 12 more days. I will finish it off, but first, I suppose, I have one more orb to spend, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The joy of having a ma <coughs> excuse me a mastery pass. You get to uh, actually invest in more than one of these. It's nice. It's nice. And I didn't even have to spend real world money on them. So cool. Hi. Right. Take care, magic community. I'll catch you all later. Bye bye.